I'm with Kevon Ivy, defensive lineman from Dallas, Texas, who also happens to be the birthday boy today. Happy birthday. Appreciate that. I really appreciate that. I, if I really wanted to get to know Kevon, what would I need to know? Um, I'm a very outgoing person. Like, I like, I'm, I'm happy all the time. <laughs> like, I'm cool with everybody. Like, no matter what the situation, I'm always very optimistic. I like to try to get to know people. You know what I mean? I'm very, you know what I'm saying? I'm one that people can be around. You know what I mean? I guess I'm just one of them. <laughs> so, me, but I do know when to get serious. Now, it's not I when it's time to play football. I know when I know when to buckle down and and get to work. But and you know that's really everybody who really loves this game. But it's really a mindset to it. So it is what it is. I'm just one of those who like to play it play it simple, but try and bend it a little bit. And it takes a village. If I made you boil it down to just one person on who has influenced you. Who would it be and why? Um, <clears throat> my influence, I can really say, is uh, my late father. My, you know, RP, my father. He um, he passed like he passed two years ago. So he really motivated me to just you know go hard, go strong for this and everything. And I, I really just took it as a as a as a push start. Really, I used it and I, I got to where I am now. So. I feel like that's, that's the one who really motivated me to be great. You know what I mean? Amen to that. And yeah. I saw a tweet of yours, and I guess we always hear this statement, it's bigger than football. But can you explain to me what does that mean to you? It means, like, <clears throat> the world to me. Because, like, all of my teammates are not just teammates. You see what I'm saying? They're brothers. Like, this is a family. Like, we all live as one, bro. Like, we wake up every morning. We wake up. We talk to each other before practice. We talk to each other after practice. We get in on each other's head during the game, during practice, you know, all those moments. But not only are they on, this, on each – we're not only are we on each other at practice, we on – I mean, in the games, we on each other, like, off the field. When it don't come to no football, we still make sure we all good. Like, you need this – need to make sure you do your work, this, that, and the other. Like, we stay to connect it, really. It's important. And yeah. what characteristic of yours do you think best fits the UNLV Rebels? Off the muscle, I can say my leadership skills. I can say that I can, I can really be a part of this. I can really be a part of this rebuild and actually help lead the way because I, I, I know for a fact that I'm going to come in and do my part as far as school work, as far as athletic, you know what I'm saying? Everything that I can do to help is what I'm going to do to make this a winning program, a championship program. And that's, that's my goal. And from the academic side, I saw that your choice of major was um, psychology. Do you have mm -hmm. anything specific that you want to do with that? Um, or do you just want to wind up helping people in the long run? I haven't really, I haven't really decided. I haven't really decided. I, 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 I kind of want to just, you know, be in an office, you know, helping people day by day, you know, something like that. And then, you know, eventually get to the, you know, part where I own my own. So, you know, just, I really want, if, if football don't work, even when football works and after football, I'm going to just start from the ground. You know what I'm saying? I already have my, my degree. I'm going to go to school for it. So, I'm going to uh, just get in the office and get a feel of it. And just over time, probably about five, six years after, I'll probably be, you know, either a manager or, ha or hopefully on my own. I like that. And, you know, I saw that you had several schools recruiting you. Why did you choose UNLV over all those other schools? Um, Because, really, this school, I seen this, this season. We didn't have a... <laughs> great season but I seen I didn't see it as oh they suck or nothing like that I just, I seen it as a as a as a as a booster actually because I seen that we this team needs a rebuild a big rebuild not only did they get a disadvantage because of COVID we have to understand that these are new coaches 
Some of these are new players. We got a new – We and they didn't really get a chance to bond how football coaches and players are <clears throat> supposed to bond. So, you know, I feel like if we get – not not if, when we get there, we're going to come in. We're we already getting connections with the coaches. They talk to us. They're keeping us in the loop. They don't never – like they don't ever go without telling us anything so it's like we're already building a relationship so all we got to do is come and display what we know we can do I know we can do it so we're gonna do it that's the attitude I love to hear that thank you so much for joining me today no no it's, it's, it's cool no count we good